Have you heard the one about men in heaven? Who is the head of the household? At the end of the age when all the believers were standing in line waiting to get their rewards in heaven, God appeared and said, I want all the men to form two lines. One line will be for the men who were the true heads of their households. The other will be for the men who were dominated by their wives. God continued, I want all the women to report to St. Peter. The women left, and the men formed two lines. The line of men who were dominated by their wives was seemingly unending. The line of men who were the true head of their household had one man in it. God said to the first line, You men ought to be ashamed of yourselves. I appointed you to be the heads of your households, and you are disobedient, and have not fulfilled your purpose. Of all of you, there is only one man who obeyed me. Learn from him. Then God turned to the lone man and asked, How did you come to be in this line? The man replied, My wife told me to stand here. <laughs> bot. There's something I can't figure out. What's that green bot? Well, according to the Bible, the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea, right? Right. And the children of Israel beat up the Philistines, right? Yes, right. And the children of Israel built the temple, right? Again, you're right. And the children of Israel fought the Egyptians, and the children of Israel fought the Romans, and the children of Israel was always doing something important, right? All that is right, too. So what's your question? What I want to know is this. What was all the adults doing? <laughs> A kindergarten teacher gave her class a show and tell assignment of bringing something to represent their religion. The first boy got in front of the class and said, My name is Benjamin and I'm Jewish and this is the Star of David. The second boy got in front of the class and said, My name is Christopher. I'm M. Catholic and this is the Rosary. The third boy got in front of the class and said, My name is Tommy, and I'm Baptist and this is a casserole. <laughs> One Sunday in a Midwest city, a young child was acting up during the morning worship hour. Okay. The parents did their best to maintain some sense of order in the pew, but were losing the battle. Finally, the father picked a little fellow up and walked sternly up the aisle on his way out. Just before reaching the safety of the foyer, the little one called loudly to the congregation, Pray for me. Pray for me. <laughs> I have a joke for you. Let's hear it. A kindergarten teacher was observing her classroom of children while they drew. She would occasionally walk around to see each child's artwork. Okay. As she came to one little girl who was working diligently, she asked what the drawing was. The girl replied, I'm drawing God. The teacher paused and said, but no one knows what God looks like. Without missing a beat or looking up from her drawing, the girl replied, they will in a second. 